Oh, it's this type of thing. Type of game. Ironically, I think the really slow moving one is gonna be harder to dodge than the faster ones just because it's such. It's so tight with the collision detection there. I have to be like practically touching it when I do my jump in order to make it, even when holding down the button all the way. Get across, so I'm gonna cross my fingers that once we actually get this thing going in pace, that things are gonna be a little bit easier to deal with. Oof, I thought I screwed that up just from jumping in too soon. How's that? We're getting to moderate speeds, maybe. I'm trying to recall all the different places that this sort of game has been in. First of all comes the Fall Guys, but before that, Mar it's, I've noticed it's gotta have been in a Mario Party minigame. But I can't, for the life of me, think of a specific one. Definitely something in GameCube Mario Party. No, I'm sorry, I just feel like every time that there's been a, there's been so many Mario Party recreations that every time there's a mini game that remotely resembles, <sighs> I thought I screwed that up for myself there. Then I was saying no, I feel like every time there's a mini game, even if it's not Mario Party related, just Mario Party's one of the pinnacle things for me when it comes to mini games. So it's the first place my mind goes to, especially because it's such a long-running series with so there's been a lot of mini games probably second most iconic mini game collection series that comes to mind is WarioWare feels like it's been a hot minute since I last played a WarioWare game not not to the fault of them actually making WarioWare games because they definitely have been making WarioWare games I just never got around to picking it up I don't know as I got an adult and game and actually started caring about the average $60 price tag that video games didn't come with, I've noticed I get a lot more picky with the video games I play. And just like, that doesn't help that when you're older, you have less time and more money, so you just end up with more video games that you don't actually play. Like, today's a release of Legends of Arceus, and I haven't picked it up because of reasons I stated before, honestly. I have made up other excuses, like I wanted to actually get, wanted to actually see what the general reception of the game is, when I realized that it's the Pokemon community, I'm better off getting the opinion myself. And there's also, like, trying to finish up the Golden Sun project before I actually get into it, but in all reality, it's because it's a triple A video game. So it's more expensive. Even though I definitely can afford it. Where am I going? And there are, again, there's like so many other games that I haven't really got around to playing. I know, man, I've seen, like, the first... I watched, like, a stream of the first hour of the game, and honestly, that I stopped because that was enough to sell me in. Uh, it just feels so much nicer than any other Pokemon game that's come out recently. And that's kind of my hope with Legend of Arceus coming in. Like, it doesn't have to be a revolutionary brand new game. It kind of just has a lot of the vibes I got early on. And especially when I actually saw the game in action. Came across with just the same vibes I got when I first played Pokemon Coliseum. And I say that as a compliment. Like it's a it seems like a game that still has Pokemon roots. So it's not a true core blue spin-off. But not calling it a spin-off would be even more inaccurate. There's just so much going on with it. To make it that seems to capture what I like about Pokemon while actually doing something fresh with it. So, it, I had a feeling from the start it was going to be something I picked up eventually. I just had many reasons not to get it right away. 
but that's one of the many reasons why. So, but I did like. I ordered it today. It'll be in a week. Hopefully, I'll be mostly done with the Golden Sun project, or at least the progress that I want to make with it before releasing something in the time frame that this goes up, or by the time the game gets here, because I do want to play it. <laughs> I was going to resist ordering it until I actually got to that point of progress that I wanted with the Golden Sun project. But when I sold like a spell a week, even with even if you buy it like off Amazon and have Amazon Prime, it still took like a it still was like a week of delivery even with all that. So I figured like I'll pick up now and I'll have it for the weekend. Hopefully I'll have some self control and be able to focus on what I want to in the process. You know I kind of sworn that I was gonna be at the point of losing by now, but I guess. It's, Game just takes a really long time to pick up the pace and get going. Is it gonna even go fast? There we go. It's going a little faster than 3.3. So I'm I, I'm conflicted because I want to see how far I go, but I already spent a lot of time derping around in one game as is. So it just feels a little bad to actually spend just as much time on this game when all I'm doing is pressing A. But it's a, it's a fun, simple, to the point, but enjoyable experience. Like, I know all I'm doing is pressing A. But there's a reason why this is, like, an iconic thing whenever it's done in a Mario Party or similar thing. I guess that's what it, it reminds me of the Clockwork game, even though I know there's a Mario Party game that exists that's a bit more accurate than this. It's just definitely not coming to mind at the moment. I, I don't know, but I'm looking for how I feel about this angle because it seems a little awkward. I guess that's why they had the shadow. Another thing I was pondering a bit before, but having the top down perspective probably would have been a little hard to tell. If you didn't also have the shadow that you could go by as well. But if that was really the reason for the shadow, then I kind of wonder why would you change the angle. I mean, actually, top down is kind of actually useful. To see when it's coming near you, and then the side angle kind of makes it a little accurate. Eh, I kind of see it. Like, it seems strange at first, but the more I think about it, the more I think that this makes sense. Like, you get the pros and cons of the top down angle while also having the, the advantages of a side angle with the shadow over there. And it just works in its own pace. I kind of want to see at least gets a 0.5. I thought, like, because apparently it's, the scale is a lot wonkier than I thought. I thought like we would be at least at 2 or 3 by the time that it got up to this speed. But what else can we really do while we're killing the time, unwinding, making up rhymes, seeing how far we can go until we die? Wow, it really seems stuck on the point four. Surely you wouldn't have a meter that had decimal points if it never got up to a straight number. Surely it goes up a little bit more than that. Come on, Ying. I am determined to see this to get to the point five speed. Surely this is not the fastest that you can throw at me. Come on, video game, I dare you. Next. <laughs> All right. We've got to be in at like half a minute at least, and it has not changed from 0.4 speed in the slightest. Come on, come on. I know you can go faster. You gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Hopping along at the speed of sound, except I'm not even marginally close. Yes, I'm tempting the fates. Who cares? It's not like I'm making pace. No time for relations. Bushering the song. 
is how we play this video game 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 bum 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 do bum 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 do do block man he's on a run no man I think it's a uh, no it's person module that his actual cannon name person module person module the cannon name of the character is a person module Ugh, fine, you win. Like, I don't see the point of having decimals and not having s straight numbers if it never gets faster than 0.4, but I am pretty much convinced at this point that we're not going to get any faster than 0.4. So let me just round up. Nice round, 350. I was going to, like, do without dying to, but I just... But then we wouldn't have the glory of actually seeing if there was a any spectacular death animation or that. Does not seem to be the case. 